The pandemic caused many people to put off routine medical care, and if you haven't gotten around to scheduling your annual eye exam, I just did that myself. Now is the time to do that. We've got Dr. Calvin Roberts here to share some tips on keeping your eyes healthy. Hi, doctor. Hi, Elsa. Good morning. I am happy to have you here. So as I mentioned, you know, it is important, but just tell us why it's so important to go to the eye doctor on a regular basis and not put it off. Well, you know, so many of the most common eye diseases, whether it's cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, have few or any symptoms until they get really severe. And the only way you can really get diagnosed as having one of these conditions is by seeing your eye doctor. So I'm recommending that everyone this year go and get themselves an eye exam. Well, that is certainly sound advice. And now I want to ask you about all this extra screen time that we have been accumulating during the pandemic. Does that affect our vision? Because we can't get around it. Oh, absolutely. You know, what we find is that when people are staring at their screen, what happens is they get eye fatigue and they get eye strain. And then they also get something called a dry eye because when we stare, we tend to not blink or blink much less often. And what happens is our eyes dry out. And so two tips I have for everyone who's on the screens all day is one, take a break just for a couple seconds, look away from the screen, look out the window, look at something far away and then go back to your screens. And the other thing is I ask of everyone is just make a conscious effort to blink more often just blink, blink, blink. And what you'll happen is your eyes will be more moist. They'll be more comfortable, easier for you to work through the day. Okay. Now those two things are very easy to do. Let's talk now about what assistive device solutions are available for those who already have some vision issues. You know, Elsa, like never before, advances in artificial intelligence, augmented reality, programmed learning, virtual reality, 5G. Those are all just primed to benefit people who are blind and visually impaired. And one of these great assistive devices is the OrCam My Eye, which converts text into audio. With it, you can read off a page or off a screen, it recognizes faces, it recognizes products. All you need to do is just a point at what you want to see, and it'll read it to you. Or you can ask it. You can give it commands, and it'll tell you what it, what it is. You know, I have one of them here in front of me. And as you can see, the OrCam II is a lightweight, portable, wireless device that easily can clip onto a pair of glasses. And you know, the goal for all our assistive devices is that they be convenient and easy for people to use. Uh, also at Lighthouse Guild, our goal is to, is to provide great assistive technologies that will allow people who are visually impaired to attain their goals, whether it be to read, to go to school, to work, to shop, even just to navigate their world. Well, that sounds great for all of us. Where can we go for more information? Well, you can go to our website, www.lighthouseguild.org, or you can go to the OrCam website, www.orcam.com. All right, Dr. Roberts, thank you so much for being with us. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.